Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add a progress bar to a MATLAB program. There are many situations that our MATLAB code may run for a long time, like several hours or several days, and we would like to check the progress of our program. So adding a progress bar to our code might be very helpful. There are different techniques to add a progress bar, but in this video, I'm going to teach you two very basic methods. The first technique that I'm going to explain is by using the print statement. It is a very simple method, but also very efficient. I'm going to explain this technique with an example. In this case, I'm going to generate a list, loop through the items in the list and check the progress. So let's make some initialization. Now I create a list of some items. Now I'm going to add a loop to the program. So I would say for i equal to 1 to size of my list, print the item. In this case, I'm using f print f. Uh, let's simply print the item at each step and then move to the next line. So it should be a size i. And then I'm going to add a pause to this for loop. If I run the program, you see that I get the progress of my program. But as you see, at each step of our loop, we get a new line, which is not what we want. Now I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. To solve this problem, at the beginning of each step, we are going to remove the last line and then print the new output. So let's do that. First, let's create a copy of this line. I call it message and then I change fprintf to sprintf for string formatting. Then I'm going to exclude my first iteration from the loop. So if i is not equal to one, we do the following. I use fprintf statement and then Rigmat backslash b and then repeat it one row and length of my message then close the if statement I believe I'm missing one parenthesis here and here I just print the message. What happens here backslash b is for removing one character and length of message is the length of the string that was previously printed so I repeat backslash b equal to length of the message and execute it so at each step it's gonna remove that many characters and then print the new message. Let's run this program. As you see, we just get one line and we can see the progress. We can also add some more string formatting here to make the output nicer. So let me do that. I would like to say in progress and then show the step number out of total step numbers and show the string step number should be i and total number of steps is equal to and let's run this as you see i get a very nice output and the advantage of the method that I showed you is that if you have something printed before the loop, you are not going to miss those outputs. So let me show you an example. 
let's print something here now if I run the code you see that we are not going to lose anything before the for loop there is also another method to add a progress bar to our code in this method we can simply use the wait bar function which is available in MATLAB if you look at the MATLAB document you see description of this method and some examples so uh, for my next example I'm going to use this method first let's take a quick look at this function and see what it does I call this function the first argument x is a value between 0 and 1 uh, I'm going to use 0 0.3 and the second variable at the beginning is just a message I just say my message if I execute this command I get a progress bar window with my message printed here and 30% of the bar is filled so that 30% is for the fill value here if I uh, call this function again and change 30% to 90% and my message to new message and run these commands you see that first I get my message with 30% filled and later on a new window with new message and 90% uh, filled basically we do not uh, like to have this so at each iteration we do not want to open a new window to solve this issue in the second uh, evaluation of this function we specified the value of our previous evaluation and run this command so now you see I just get one window in the beginning my message with 30% filled and then we got an update the message changed to new message and the fill value changed from 30% to 90% so this is the way that we should use this function now let's move on to our example and use this wait for method let's copy this command and put it before the loop in the beginning we just initialize our progress bar with value of zero and uh, let's uh, put the message saying please wait then we don't need that message we do not need this and let's copy this and put we do not need this anymore okay here in each iteration we should update this value which should be equal to i divided by total number of items in the list then for the message let's just say in progress now if i run these commands you see that i get the progress bar and the fill value is changing according to the value of i divided by the size of stocks and 2. We can also make some additional change to this message and make it more clear. So let me do that. Here I just replace it with my message. If I run my code, you see that I got this weight and in progress and the value of progress and the item that he is running in that iteration let me change this to two seconds so uh, you can see it more clear so in the beginning we get zero please wait 20% 40% 60% 80% and so on and this is the way that we can use the wait bar and i believe it's uh, very easy to use as well so with that being said we are at the end of this tutorial i hope that you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in my future videos and 
Thank you for watching.